Welcome. This is the Buruburu Church of God Broadcasting Service, BCOG. into the Word of God. Uh, before we go on, my name is Reverend Arthur Mamani, a pastor in Buruburu. And let us pray. Jehovah God, we are before you, the giver who gave us dominion, that we are not ordinary, but rulers. And so commit my listeners into your hands, that as you have helped them rise up from their beds, 
and you have given them a day before them, may you cover them with the blood of Jesus. Take care of their going out. Protect them out there. Bring them back to their families safe and sound. And most of all, our desire is that they may know you and you alone as the giver of life and good health and even salvation in Jesus' name. Amen. Our scripture this morning will come from Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 and 28. And if I was to give it the heading, it would be created to have dominion. So the Bible says, then God said, let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea, and the birds in the sky, and over the livestock, and all the wild animals, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. God blessed them and said to them, be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea, and the birds in the sky, and over every living creature that moves on the ground. Um, my beloved brother and sister, the Bible here talks of created to rule, not created to be servants or to do services, but created to control God's creation. And so the two verses have made it very clear that when he said, let us make man in our image and likeness, it is very clear he, out of love, created us. He recreated himself. When he created me and you in his likeness, he was telling the world that these are my special creatures. And so they are like me. They are going to rule like me. And so God created us to rule, to have dominion, dominion over birds, over fish, over all creatures that crawl on the land. And so he created us, he said, go and multiply and be fruitful and then have dominion over all these things. But looking at the world today and the things that are happening, when the devil appeared in that garden of Eden, after man had been given uh, dominion, the first thing he did was to cheat them. And when they defied the only commandment of God, and God had said, whenever you shall do this, you shall die. Man died. Man lost his dominion. Man became sick. Man became cursed. And the ground uh, brought up thorns and thistles and many other very strange plants that could not benefit man. And he was kicked out of that land called Eden, and he became a fugitive out there with curses upon them. But then we, we look at a man when he is out there, uh, or after he obeyed this enemy called the devil, then we see not only death, not only losing of dominion, but we see other things also. He is suffering. He has to go to struggle to get what to eat. We see his body becomes weak. Mentally, man becomes unstable. Man became sick in his mentality or in his soul. Man became sick in his relationship with God, and that is in his spirit. I would rather be sick in the body than to be sick in the spirit. When the spirit is sick, then the whole thing is messed up. Your relationship with God, your sense of direction, your power of dominion is gone from you. And so that is what we lost when we decided to obey that first creature called the devil or the serpent when it appeared in the Garden of Eden and we obeyed, we listened to his voice. But we thank God that in these uh, 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 later days, um, after we were thrown into sin and death came and Adam which had witnessed the death of his dear son, um, Abel, and after some times, Abel, Abel's body was thinking, 
and they looked for, for a way of getting rid of it and by burying that body so that it takes away the smell and all that was rotten about it. Then we came face to face with the power of sin. Sin is nothing, is nothing but a terrible thing. When we are sick, we are carrying sin. When we are unable, sin has brought a lot of weakness and complications in our lives. But we thank God that through Christ, we can recover all that we lost. So may we turn to Christ for salvation and repent from all sorts of sins and give our lives unto him. We shall become strong enough like we were in the Garden of Eden. We shall recover even dominion. We thank God for that scripture. And let us pray. And as you go out, may the Lord be with you. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the scripture which you have just heard. May you bless it and plant it in the lives of the people who have heard it. And let it become light and strength and even health into their bodies. Let it bless their day. In Jesus' holy name, amen.